Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you the difference between major and minor versions in SharePoint Online. Uh, first of all, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So I actually recorded uh, a few videos already on uh, version history. You can check them out on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but uh, just in case, um, essentially what version history is, uh, every time you make a change, so let me go, go ahead, for example, and make a change uh, to the document. All right, so I'm making a change, and of course, everything is auto-saved. Uh, I'm going to close it. Um, if we look up the version history, right-click uh, version history, we are going to see the revision history of this document. So um, I, you know, this was the original revision, and now I just made a change, so another revision was created. By default, it stores the last 500 uh, versions of each document, and essentially it's sequential, right? It goes one, two, three. Uh, anytime you make a change, uh, it just uh, pretty much, you know, is a sequential, you know, version history. Uh, this is something we call major, uh, you know, version history, all right? Now, uh, what you can also do is enable what's called minor uh, version history. And uh, essentially what will happen when I do that, uh, instead of, you know, going one, two, three, and so on, uh, it will create minor revisions. So if, uh, let's say, it was 2.0, uh, it will become 2.1, 2.2, uh, 2.3, etc. Uh, so let me uh, let me um, uh, you know show you how to do that. So uh, first of all, what I'm going to do, uh, I really like displaying uh, the um, you know the the version history uh, column in uh, you know in my library. Unfortunately, you cannot do it through this um, mechanism just yet. I mean, there is no version column over here. So what we need to do is um, go kind of behind the scenes. So uh, I'll edit the view and let me. It should be all the way at the end over here. So I'm going to display this column. So we can always see what's going on and uh, what is the particular you know, version of, uh, of a document uh, at this uh, point of time. Uh, so let me go ahead and enable uh, minor uh, revision, minor revisions, minor versions. So to do that, you click the gear icon from the library, library settings, more library settings, and over here, versioning settings, all right? And you will see that by default, it uh, is it is essentially major, right? Uh, it stores the major uh, versions, and it tells you it uh, holds up to you know the last 500 uh, major uh, versions over here. Uh, but what you can do is you can also track minor versions as well, right? By checking this radio button, and there is an additional setting for you here, and um, you can it's kind of optional, but essentially. Uh, when you're going to create those minor uh, versions like, you know, 2.1, 2.2, etc., uh, the question being asked here is who will be able to see those minor uh, versions, all right? Um, essentially, users with read permissions, your visitors to the site, or users with edit permissions, the members of the site. Um, so by default, um, and, you know, if you, for example, wanted to restrict your visitors from seeing those minor revisions, you can actually, you can actually do it. Uh, by enabling this radio button, but you know, let's leave it on so everyone can see them and click OK. So let me now show you the experience uh, with those minor, uh, uh, you know, versions. Um, so let's take this 2.0. You, you see the document I modified. Let's make another change. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make another change. Uh, and uh, at the moment, it's 2.0. All right, so I'm making a change. And of course, it's everything is auto saved. I'm going to close it. Uh, let's make, uh, let me actually refresh the screen so we can see. Look at this. We already at 2.1, you see? Uh, and again, same information if you click, right click, version history. Again, it's the same information. I just decided to display that uh, version column on the, uh, my library. Uh, let's make another change, all right? Let's make another change. So I'm going to once again open the document. I'm going to uh, type in something else. All right, so yeah, just like that. Again, uh, let's wait till it saves, perfect. And I'm going to uh, refresh the screen uh, again. Oh, look at this, it's 2.0, uh, 2.2 now, you see. So another uh, you know, minor uh, uh, version was created. Now, the question is, how do we now, you know, what, how do we get it to 3.0, right? So we made all these revisions. How do we get it to uh, 3.0? What we need to do is, you need to publish uh, the document, 
All right. So, and that's the whole idea of why we have those uh, minor uh, versions. And I will mention it again uh, a little bit later. But essentially, if we right click more, and now we have this, you know, with this button called uh, republish. All right. So let me do just that. And look what happened. Uh, it became 3.0, you see. So it went from, you know, minor versions to uh, the essentially the next major one, 3.0. Uh, and again, if I do the same thing here, uh, look at this. You see, you don't even get to see those minor versions. You you essentially will see the, the published one. So um, what is the use case for those minor versions, right? Why would you... Uh, enable this feature on your library. I think for the most part, you would probably be okay with major versions, but minor will really help uh, if you are trying to do some sort of, uh, you know, I guess business process, all right? Uh, maybe you want to, uh, you know, you want to uh, everyone, all the users, all the visitors to your site to see the major changes, but all those intermediate changes that you made, uh, let's say to a policy document, right? All those minor revisions, you really don't want them to see uh, those revisions. So anytime you have this, I wouldn't say, call it an approval mechanism or anything like that, but anytime you, um, you know, essentially want to institute some sort of, you know, process uh, with official kind of publishing of documents uh, within your library, uh, you might want to consider uh, enabling uh, minor, uh, you know, version history. So this way, all the users can, uh, you know, all the members can make edits, you know, small edits to the document. Uh, and then when it's time for, you know, the policy uh, to be visible and all the changes are kind of final, then you just need to go ahead and uh, pretty much, you know, republish and um, uh, it will uh, private to the major, to the next major version. All right. So that's all I wanted to show you uh, in this uh, particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. Is always happy to see on my blog sharepointmaven.com and as well as my YouTube channel. And uh, thank you very much.